Happy Flossmas Day 8. Do you hear the ocean? That roar in the background is the ocean. And it's another foggy day. Can't even see the ocean, I swear it's there. I wonder what we'll get up to today. Chat soon. Hi everybody, happy Flossmas day. Eight. I have to check. Um, I'm really tired. It's uh, it's almost, uh, no, it's not just almost 10, it's just after 10 p.m. I had a great uh, supper tonight with my knitwit friends. That was awesome to see them just before the holidays. And uh, But between making supper before I left and getting uh, everybody sorted out here and then being out for a couple hours and coming back, I'm tired. So this is going to be quite short. Um, hi, my name is Patty. I am coming to you from the east coast of Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. And um, my, pro uh, my pronouns are she, her. I am working away at my, I'm working away at my holiday countdown cell with Evertoad, Roxy Fosco, and Modern Folk Embroidery. And I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you the little tiny bit of stitching I got done since last time we chatted. And, um, oh, um, one of my knitwit friends is actually Deanna. And Deanna is a designer between Darling, or behind, sorry, <laughs> Darling and Whimsy Designs. And she gave me some presents. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to look at the presents and uh, open my advent calendars as well. So sweet Deanna shared two of her patterns. This is her new Quirky Quaker ornament pattern. And this is her new Quirky Quaker gingerbread pattern. Thank you, Deanna, I love them. And this is how far I got in my stitching. So I think I had these two and a little bit over here done when I showed you last. So I've almost got the second border done. Uh, two more of these. So not too bad to get day three finished. Still behind, but it's okay. I've relaxed and settled into the stitching and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to put up with having my frame just here on the island all the time. It's not normally here, um, but it's been great. I'm getting stitching done, so that's awesome. Um, now let's move to the uh, opening of advent calendars. Okay, I was going to um, try and open this one-handed, but as you can see by the ripped envelope, I barely did it two-handed. <laughs> so here's day eight of the pattern, which of course I'm not gonna show you, um, but here's the lovely floss. Let's see. It is kind of a brown gold, at least in this light, and it is called third place. And let's put it up here next to the other colors that we've got. I like the variegation in there. It's really, really pretty. Awesome. So thank you to Evertote, Roxy Floss Co. and Modern Folk Embroidery. That's awesome. And then this is my advent calendar from um, a knitwit that I'm going to open tonight. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's so hard to open one. Oh. Oh, I think I know what this is. It's a cute little pot with the cutest little button and ribbon on it. And I think this is from my lovely friend Deanna. It's from the Newfoundland Labrador Pharmacy Museum, and this is Summer Savory, so it's a little plant pot. And this is Calendula and the QR code scan me for planting instructions, medicinal benefits, and more. That's awesome. And then here is a little information sheet on Calendula, and probably I'm guessing the other one is on Savory. For anybody who doesn't know uh, Newfoundland cooking culture, 
savory is something that's used in a lot of our dishes, like for stuffing. And um, as a herb here, it's used quite, quite frequently. Thank you, my friend. I absolutely love it. This little pot is darling. Also came with this really pretty, look at this ribbon. Damn, yeah, tie that pretty. Thank you so much. So let's turn, have another shot of this, and then let's turn the camera around. Hi again. Um, thanks for opening my advent calendars with me. I ca it's nice actually when uh, most people are in bed to kind of sit and visit with you for a few minutes before I end up heading to bed myself. Um, I hope everybody's well. I hope that you're getting some time to just relax in this busy, busy season. And uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow where the morning view will once again be rain, drizzle and fog because that is what the weather is calling for. Um, not much other news today. Nope, don't think so. Oh yeah, I did. There is one little bit actually. I released the second pattern for the my mystery stitch along that I'm hosting, and um, I will put a picture here, uh, here at the end, to show you that little creature. Uh, this time I designed a puffin, and I'll put that uh, up on the screen so you can have a look. It's been great chatting with you, and I will chat with you again tomorrow.